welcome or welcome back it's alexis and i'm just i think you guys will have a fun time with this i don't know if i will though i don't know because today we're counting all the books on my book cart and my physical tbr <laughs> I recently uh, cleaned off an old cart that my mom had and uh, put my books on it for a TBR cart because I really like seeing like all of them together and then I have more on the back and I have a few things that I put in it that I want to just give you guys a tour of it and then we're going to count all the books I have on my physical TBR. Today to drink we have a matcha and just look how beautiful she is. So good. And should I be drinking water? Yes. Am I? No. Like the amount of drinks that I drink that are not water is concerning. But it's 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 okay. Matcha is amazing and matcha is worth it. I don't care. Enough with that. I'm gonna show you everything that I have today and then count it. Something about matcha just like hits. And I put brown sugar in it. Oh, so good. Okay, so we're gonna start with up here and then we're just gonna move our way down and then I'll flip the cart around so I can show you the other stuff. So we're on the floor, just don't mind me, but I this is the only way I could show you guys the cart. The first book I have is Six Ways to Write a Love Letter by Jackson Pierce. It's a romance and I'm pretty sure it's about like a pop star if i'm not mistaken next five feet apart by rachel lippincott with more authors we got i'm not even pronouncing but this has been on my physical tbr forever and i've seen the movie but that was a while ago so I will read the book at some point, but who knows. And this is technically not on my physical TBR. I've already read it, but it's on my TBR for the month, so I put it on here. The Summer I Turn Pretty by Jenny Han. This is what I want to reread, and I want to reread it this summer because it just gives great summer vibes. Next, we have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This has been on my TBR for forever. And I'm going to wait till fall to read it, I think. So it will still be on my TBR till fall. We got four so far, four books. Next, I have Pride and Puppies by Lizzie Shane. I honestly don't know what this book is about. Puppies, I guess. But it's a romance and it looks like a fun read, so... Next, I have Dial A for Aunties by Jess Q. I'm not gonna pronounce, I'm not gonna try and pronounce her last name because I will not be butchering it, but Dial A for Aunties. This one is supposed to be like a cozy mystery. So I'm excited for that. I think that will definitely be a book I read closer to fall, maybe like August or something. Next, I have The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. And this is also a romance, but it's also about like finding her dad is what I have heard. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think that's what it's about. I have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And I did pick this up at one point and I DNF'd it. I got about a hundred pages in like this far and I DNF'd it because I just didn't, I didn't really get it. I didn't understand. Let me know if I should get back to this, but I did put it up here since I haven't read it. So let me know if it's like really important to read and I just, it's just something I wasn't enjoying. So I put it down. Of All the Right Places by Jennifer Navin. And this has been a book that I've been wanting to read for forever also, but the thing is it's thicker and it's supposed to be like sad so it has been kind of like putting me off because i am scared to read it but also i'm really excited to read it i can never make up my mind next i have the on honeymooners by christina lauren 
And the reason I haven't read this yet and I've had it for so long is actually because I want to read it in the summer. So I haven't had it since the summer. I've had it since like right after summer. So I want to read this in the summer. So this has not been read yet for that reason. Also because a lot of people don't like it. Next, I have You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. And I actually started this book. I got about 60 pages in through the book. And I, did, I didn't I did DNF this book. I mean, I didn't finish it. But my terms, I put it down. I wasn't feeling romance at the time. So I picked up a mystery. And it was just so much better. I don't know what was going on. But I was in kind of a romance slump, I think. Because I didn't read romance for a little bit after that. I was more into thrillers. So I will be picking this up when I'm more in like a romance mood. Because I did enjoy the first part of the book that I read. But I just, I wasn't feeling it. But it was, it seemed like I will like it whenever I pick it back up. Next is another Christina Lauren book, The Soulmate Equation. And I want to read this one pretty soon because... The True Love Experiment is out and I want to get that when it's in paperback so I can have them like together because they're supposed to, I think they're interconnected standalones if I'm not wrong. This one just scares me because I don't know, I don't really have an opinion on Christina Lauren. I've only read Love and Other Words by them which I absolutely adored. I love that book so much. It's like an all-time favorite but a lot of people say their other books aren't the best. So, it's kind of scaring me a bit. Next, I have, uh, this is actually the last one I have on the front row. This is Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. And uh, this one, I am very, very excited to read. Just like, look how cute the cover is. Look how adorable that is. And the... Not the next one. I don't know if it's the next one. But it's another one by this author. It's coming out soon. And I want to read this so I can get the other one. Because the other cover is super cute. Like, I'll show you. Like, look how cute that cover is. I just love the style of cover. But this one's also a romance. And this one's about, like, a famous person. I think people describe the main character as, like, Chris Evans? I could be thinking of a completely different book, so correct me if I'm wrong. Next, I have The Shelf, and the reason why this whole thing is, like, not full full, because, I mean, I don't have a bunch of books in my physical TBR, but I do still have plenty that I need to read. This is my thriller section. It's actually very sad, like... Anyway, we have three books from there. Lisa Jewell. This is The Family Upstairs. And I just read Then She Was Gone. I'm not giving you thoughts on that. I read it. You will see my thoughts for my wrap up. But I am excited to read this because I did enjoy it. That's all I'm telling you. You have to wait. But I liked it and I liked her writing. So I will end up reading this soon. But I am uh, not in a thriller mood right now, so don't want to ruin it. Next, I have The Lake by Natasha Preston, and I am excited to read this one. I it just I don't know what it's about, but I am excited to read it. The only thing that scares me going into her books are that people say they're really good up until the last page, and I'm like, so. It's not really, like, worth it to read the book if they're not good at the last page, but I'll just have to figure it out for myself because my opinions could be completely different from somebody else's. And then the last one, sadly, I don't have a lot of thrillers. On the thriller section I have, though, is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, and I'm actually very, very excited to read this one. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, but... I will next time I'm in a like a mystery mood, YA mystery, something quick and fun, I will read this. I promise. It will be read soon. But I'm really excited to just pick this one up as I feel like it's going to be a good time. Okay, this is like kind of random. This is more like, this is my fiction thing I kind of have. Or like 
more. I put my book of the month books here because these are not all like specific genres. Like this one's literary fiction. This one's not fully romance, I don't think. And then this one is fiction also. So there's not really a place. And then these two, I think they're also like fiction. And I just didn't know where else to put them. So that's why these books are here. First book I have is Pride and Premeditation by Teresa Price. I don't know, but this cover is really cute. Basically, this is a Jane Austen murder mystery, and it's a like a spinoff, something like that. I don't know what the word for it is, but basically, it's gonna be hard getting these out, so I will not be pulling these ones out. But this is Sense and Secondary Murder, which is also another Jane Austen murder mystery it's by the same author, and I really love these covers. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, but actually I do know why. I just haven't, like, I just haven't. But I am excited to get to those because I haven't really heard anybody talk about them. And the last three books on this shelf are Wayward by Amelia Hart, Romantic Comedy by Curtis Infeld, and then Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zetman. And I need to read these. These are my book of the month books, and I haven't read them, so don't know what that says about me, but like, I will read them at some point. Wayward, kind of scared to read. This one, kind of scared to read. This one, kind of scared to read. Enough said. Next is like the fantasy shelf. Here, I'll put it down so you can see a little better. Okay, okay. this is all the books for fantasy. And some of them are not, like, technically, like, fantasy, like, you would be, like, Akatar, you know? I don't have those books yet. I will. I promise you. Okay? Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. And this is more of a fall read. But this is, like, Sally's The Nightmare Didn't End After Christmas. So, curious to see what that one's even about. But I love Sally, so... And I love Tim Burton, all things Tim Burton, so very excited to read that, but that's a Halloween read. Like, I'm very season reader. Like, I'm a mood season reader, so I will not be reading that to Halloween. And the next one is also a Halloween read, fall read. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. This book is obviously about witches, very fall, fun, fantasy world. I am excited to get to that. It seems like a quick easy read i don't know if that one's romance though so i don't know if it's fantasy romance or like just whatever i'm just gonna let them fall anyway i have the miscule mansion of myra malone and this is by audrey burks and i am excited to read this one too i am not sure what this is about this might be like a mystery fantasy but it goes with my <laughs> fantasy books so i put it on that shelf Next, I have The Kingdom of the Cursed, and this is the second book of Kingdom of the Wicked, and I enjoyed Kingdom of the Wicked. I was kind of in a slump, which was not fun. I hate slumps when I read it, so it wasn't amazing, but I did give it four stars, so I wanted to continue with the series because wrath, like, wrath. Anyway, this one's a thicker one, though. This one's like 400, I think. Next book I have is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, and I'm just so, so excited to read this, but I'm also so, so nervous because there's so many mixed reviews. Obviously, I shouldn't be nervous or anything to read a book based on other people's reviews, but that's just how we are, how everybody is. Obviously, I'll probably have my own opinion, but... There's just a lot of mixed reviews on this, and I really want to read uh, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, so I just gotta suck it up and read it. And then, last fantasy book that I have is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This book is a chunk, like, thick book, and I'm excited to read it, but I'm not a big fantasy reader yet, so I am waiting a little bit to read this one because I haven't dived into fantasy enough to where I think I'm ready to read this. This seemed very interesting though, and I know it's enemies to lovers, which one of my favorite tropes, so I'm super excited for that. Next, we're turning this around. This is gonna be hard. 
have headphones up here. These are my reading headphones. And the reason they weren't up there is because I've been using them. It starts with this. It ends with this tote. And I got this from Books A Million. So if you want it, get it like now. If you have a Books A Million close to you. Because it's it's so cute. I love it. And it's a perfect tote. Like it fits like so many things. It's like command hooks that keep it up. And then I just put my headphones right here. Okay, we turn it around. Now these are all the books I have on the back. Before I get into those, I do want to show you. I have a TBR jar I made. If I use this, I might not, honestly, I might not use it. But I did make separate colors for different genres. So fiction is yellow, romance is pink, purple is fantasy, and then I have red, which is, uh, it looks kind of similar to the pink, but that's thrillers or like mysteries. But yeah, I have a TBR jar, so if I ever don't know what to read and I'm like very conflicted on what to read, I will pick that. And then I have all my annotating supplies in this little jar. It's so cute. I have all my highlighters. Some of them are over there with my current read. And then I have black pen, as always. And then sometimes I'll use colored pens normally. If I do, it's just for romance, and that's just a pink pen. And then I have all my tabs in here, which I'm loving so much. So this is really cute just to put up here. I'm gonna get into these books. I have uh, two Christmas books and I'm obviously not reading those yet. Those are definitely Christmas, but I have So This Is Christmas by Tracy Andrew. And I actually did try to read this one. I put it down I don't really remember why. I think I was like burnt out on Christmas books, but. And I have One Day in December by Josie Silver. This is not like necessarily a Christmas book, but it's a December book. So like, obviously I'm gonna read it during Christmas time. But those two are just two Christmas books I didn't get to last year. So I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And this book I'm very excited to read, but I just haven't got to it yet. I'm a little scared to read that, but I've heard it has some Taylor references and you know, I love Taylor, so. Then we have If You Have Been With Me by Laura Nolan. This, you know I'm ready for, but I'm gonna read it in the fall, and I'm really nervous, but also I'm ready for it. And then I have Girl in Pieces by Kathleen S. Go. Oh my god, I can't speak. And this one's also a sad one. I think I might read it in the fall, because like summer is just like such happy vibes, you know? I mean, fall's not, like, not happy, but, like, it's just, like, I can't explain it. It just makes sense in my brain. And then I have two Colleen Hoover books. I have Slammed, which is, I hate this cover. Like, I hate, hate this cover. But I have it. And, I mean, it's not, like, horrible, horrible, but, like, look at the pages. Just why? Why is it, why, why are you yellow? But I, apparently this is supposed to be really, really good. So, maybe I'll read it soon. Who knows? And then I have Verity, which is very popular. I am not allowed to read that one right now because it's supposed to be, like, very, very spicy. And then that one, it just kind of actually scares me a bit. And I don't want that right now. And then I have the last one on my TBR cart. I have... The first two die at the end by Adam Silvera. This is the second. They both die at the end. And I'm not ready for it. I'm just not ready. Like, it's so thick. I think it's like 600 pages, something like that. Like, they both die at the end was so good, but it was pain. But basically, that is all the books I have. Let me give them a quick count real quick, and I'll be back. I have 35 books on my physical TBR. Not as bad as I thought it was, but still, I need to challenge myself to read, like, five of these before I buy another book. Which we all know is not going to happen, but, like, it's fun to pretend, so. This is my TBR car, and I am, I love it. I'm in love. It's so gorgeous, so pretty. It's so, like, aesthetically appealing to my eyes. And I love seeing all the books. And it's, like, coming over here since it's close to my bed. I'm over here picking out a book when I'm done reading one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just let me know in the comments if you have any books on my TBR that were like need to read for me. So let me know. 
I always enjoy feedback. So thank you for watching and sticking around. And I hope to see y'all all in a next one. Bye.